here. Hey. We're Sean and Allison from Spoken Garden, and we're partnering with Eden Brothers to help you in your garden. Yeah, we're gonna help you plant your bush beans step-by-step step outside today. Yeah, but before we get to that, it's really helpful to know ahead of time that beans come in determinant and indeterminate varieties. And another thing to think about is beans can be planted in containers, so that gives a lot more options for planting. Yeah, and bush beans are considered a warm season crop, so you want to make sure that you plant them outside in the spring after your soil temperatures have reached at least 65 degrees, and you want to make sure that you site them in a full sun location that gets at least six hours of light and is in well-draining soil. Now, before we show you how to direct sow these beans out into your garden, there's a few fun facts you need to know. First off, beans can be considered either two different kinds of plants. There's an indeterminate type of growing plant and there's, there's a determinate type of growing plant. The determinate type of growing plant or bush bean only grows to a certain size and it'll start producing fruit at a certain time of season. And then after it's done producing the fruit, it won't produce any more and it'll stop growing. Now an indeterminate type of bean plant or a vining bean plant is a plant that'll start to grow in the spring and continue to grow throughout the whole season. And once it starts producing the beans, it'll produce those beans the whole season until the very end of the season. It won't stop producing beans or stop growing. Now there's three different kinds of bush beans out there. There's the green shelling beans, there's the snap beans, and then there's the dry beans. And the tongue of fire, which we're gonna direct so today, can be considered either a shelling or a dry bean, depending on how you wanna use it it after you've harvested everything and brought it inside. The tongue of fire bush bean can actually grow anywhere from 15 to 18 inches tall and it's a really compact grower so it's really fun to grow. It can fit into really tight spaces and it'll be easy to maintain. Now these tongue of fire bush beans, their pods can get anywhere from six to seven inches long and have up to six to eight beans in each pod. Now, before we show you how to actually sow your beans, it's helpful to know when to plant them so you can start planning ahead. Now beans are a warm season crop, so it's best to direct sow them right out in the ground outside. You can direct sow them in the spring as soon as your soil reaches around 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise your beans could rot if the soil temperature is too cool or too full of moisture. Now that it's about mid spring and the soil has warmed up to about 65 to 75 degrees and the threat of frost has passed, we can plant our bush beans. Now we're gonna need to plant them an inch below the soil surface and we're gonna need to space each seed four to six inches apart. And if we're planting in rows, we're gonna have to plant those rows 18 to 24 inches apart. Before we plant the seeds, we need to measure out and mark where we're gonna plant them and use those measurements that I just told you. So to do that, I've got a Hori Hori knife. It's got graduated markings on it in inches and we'll use that to measure out where we're gonna plant the seeds. So we're gonna start right here and I'm gonna make a little indentation here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out from the middle of this pole, I'm gonna measure out six inches this way and then I'm gonna measure this hole, I'm gonna make this hole, and then I'm gonna measure from there and keep doing so until I've made all the holes I wanna make right here. This is enough for this row. Now I wanna go this way. So I'm gonna, I need to measure at least 18 inches. And so using the Hori Hori knife, we've got that. Here's our hole right here. Then I can go this way, six inches, four to six inches, and keep making my holes until I'm done. So there we go. So to plant each seed correctly, I'm gonna use what's called a seed dibber, and this is, has graduated markings on it also. I know right here is our inch marking, so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna press down, make that indentation, and make sure to measure from this soil level over, and right there is our, our level. I'm gonna go through and do each one of these, each one of these holes, and then I'll plant each seed in that hole at that depth. Now, after you've planted your seeds, you need to water them in right away. The key here is to keep the soil moist as consistently as possible so you keep the water right up next to each seed so it germinates fast. And then after they germinate, make sure to keep watering so you get that consistent watering in and the plant stays hydrated while it develops and grows. Now, while your bush beans are growing, you wanna make sure to keep the whole area weeded because you don't want your bush beans competing with other weed plants 
for water and nutrients. Also, it's a great idea to mulch the area around your bean plants because not only will it help keep the weeds down and under control, but it'll also keep the moisture in the soil so it's readily available for your bush beans. So now let's talk about harvesting your beans because that's the best part, right? You'll know your beans are ready to harvest when you just barely start to see the outline of the beans inside the pod. And that should happen within 65 to 70 days after you've sown them. It's best practice to harvest your beans in the early morning and a mature bush bean will feel smooth, firm, and crisp. Now, if you need more vegetable planting, growing, or harvesting tips, you can always go to EdenBrothers.com and look at their planting guides. And we hope this video was really helpful for you in planting your own bush bean seeds. And from us at Spoken Garden and Eden Brothers, thank you for watching.